Like, you're going to tell everybody to move. You need to put your hands on them. You don't, they don't need you to fucking touch them. So I don't know if you guys are able to tell, but this is yet another BLM protest. I mean, after the election of the blackest president to ever black, you know, Joe Biden, um, <laughs> you'd like to think that such uh, displays would be coming to an end. But oh no, oh no, these morons are probably just getting started. Yep, still not. Y'all don't have any other names. I mean, there's always the Jacob Blakes. I mean, there's tons of scumbags out there doing scumbaggery that you can really just set your clock to this bullshit. So you really don't even need to still be on the whole George Floyd thing. But hey, once they, no one, like once they get the, that, that, that taste of the George Floyd uh, blood in their, um, on their on their tongue well that's just the one that they're going to continuously run with despite how many times they've uh, well i don't know what they've been told but as we know on this channel hey it wasn't even the the, the, the nothing it wasn't the officer that killed him it was the combination of uh, drugs in his system and the like but hey you know don't let that good narrative go to waste and hear this shit It's like children throwing a tantrum, man. It really is. It's like children. This is what happens when you have like 40 years of uh, critical theory and, um, you know, you're a victim. Nothing's your fault. You deserve a participation trophy. Oh, my goodness. Feelings are uh, like emotional feelings are just as uh, painful and, and on the same level level as physical as physical feelings i mean guys <laughs> and ultimately ultimately at the end of the day you can really boil it down to the lack of fatherhoods and the, the, not the lack of fathers of uh, fatherhoods but the lack of fathers in and of themselves which teach a which guide through a certain level of res of authority and respect that it is just so damn evident to see so many d didn't get or got an extremely watered down version of version of because anybody with any good sense is not standing in the middle of a uh freeway to argue about some situation that took that didn't even take place in the same state <laughs> screenshot it this ignorant piece of shit right here because they're actually starting to fire cops that refuse to wear their mask while manhandling people that's right. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. She's going to get you fired for not wearing your mask while manhandling people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, uh, they, 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 they had like, this is the world that we live in, boys. This is who, this is who has, you know, um, we being a hundred percent deceptively taken the reins of power, this mindset, this mentality. And the crazy part is, is that all it does take is, is actual manhandling to check any of this. I would love for like a throwback 1993 New York cop to have to deal with this type of bullshit. <laughs> Like, all y'all will be missing teeth right now. You get dragged off into a paddy wagon and nobody got to worry about this bullshit. But because the elected class has been um, flooded and inundated with a bunch of communists and sissies that are like, oh my goodness, yes, we, we have to worry about people's feelings and all this other shit. It's just like, this is, this is literally what you end up with, police forces who have been completely defanged. Now, is anybody sitting here saying that, oh my goodness, it's perfect, and, and having cops, like, over, overextend their, um, their power 
Is that a good thing? Of course not. But the threat that they could overextend their power, I, I can't help but feel led helped uh really quite helped really bring along a lot of civility because there's like you know there's always that underlying threat that hey this this cop may just you know saying bang me upside my head because i'm acting like a knucklehead and well and honestly knucklehead behavior does deserve a knucklehead type response so it's like i said it's a very thin and delicate line but one that i truly truly wish were still in fashion Piece of shit. I can see this is a CSC. This, this is all in Seattle, Washington. Shout out to Andy No, by the way. Hope you enjoy getting fired later because, my goodness. Oh, golly. This, this is vomit inducing. No mask, your ass is grass. That is that is like the rock level. Not 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 2020 Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but you know, throw back the rock WWE levels of trash talk. Don't wear the mask, your ass is grass. It is so just interesting seeing the exact same people who swear they are fighting the machine, man. We're fighting the establishment. Be the exact same sheep doing exactly uh, do, doing exactly what the establishment would have uh, have of them. It's it really is so crazy how commercialized the um like you know the revolution has become to whereas like yeah we're on the same side as large corporations that wouldn't pander to us at all. It, it is so sad. It is so it, it, like how easily people uh you know fall into these uh fall into the pocket of the establishment but while under the belief that they are anti-establishment they're the resistance and the like and the craziest part is that even with trump gone or any or, 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 and, and everything else that you can like that that mindset that mentality the feminine can get everything that it ever wanted and still find itself empty and without content content like that's that really is i i ultimately and this is no disrespect but ultimately like the curse of being a chick guys we can be chill and we can like ultimately if you have if you're truly um uh you know have a good connection with your masculinity you can find contentment in the smallest things you can find contentment in mopping the floor whereas a young whereas ladies for the most part like yo yeah you can have that floor mopped and it's nice and all but i don't know now i want to wax it and then and it'll just it'll keep going more 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 it's a actually pretty amazing uh way to uh you know look at all this stuff oh i clicked it all the way back there let's finish this Tell her to move out the way. All of them need to get the hell out of the way, man. Sheep will in Seattle, bro. <laughs> I think I just figured out the title of this video, Sheeple in Seattle, because this is ridiculous, man, that they're still doing this, no matter what, like, the, the, the officers, particularly George Floyd, the, the reason it mainly rings hollow is because the, all the officers that had something to do with George Floyd, they're on their way to trial, like, like if you want these issues taken care of, if you want to see these reforms, they are things that are better left towards, better left at the local and um, county level, but here, here they are, man, like, all this time later, and they're still, you got people who still believe in the George Floyd lied and George Floyd lied and bullshit, 
Amazing times we live in, boys. Amazing times. So, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, so I said a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to get videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and Bitch You Don't Like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Patreon as well. Links in the description. To actually, destroy the description box. Click all the links in the description and speak. Let me know what do you guys think in the comments. This is, uh, this is sad. It, it truly is sad that you know it, we're still here you won you got your, you got the w with the election and everything else like that yet we're still here because these mindsets this communistic feminist intersectionalistic mindset it is all about more no real direction no end game no point no goal to, except for more but you may disagree that's what my comment section's for until the next one